Hey guys, so this is my rod cutter setup. Uh, I use this to cut 3 8 rod for my hairpin legs. I know it doesn't look like much, but it actually is not much. Very simple, uh, but very effective. I've cut well over 20,000 pieces on this set of bolt cutters. I used one of my hairpin brackets to make this plate. Welded a bolt on it, welded a little piece of half inch just to keep the cutter, um, you know, lined up nicely. I screwed the bracket into this post, bolted the cutters on, and I've got the one arm fixed along the post here so it doesn't move. And that gives you the leverage to just whack away. Uh, when I when I set it up, I got this tray here that I feed the rods through. I made sure that was lined up nicely so that it, it just goes right through the cutter and hits my stop here. My stop setup is a piece of gas pipe, half a pipe clamp. Again, very very simple. I welded a little pointer onto the onto the pipe clamp, and I've got all my sizes marked on the bench here. So there's no measuring, no messing around. If I need a 16 inch leg, point the pointer at 16. Boom, 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 boom. So that's about it. That is my super simple 3-8 rod round bar cutter. Um, let me know if you got any questions about the setup. Next video is going to be this bender. It's a little more scientific. My boy Johnny Pants designed this and built it for me. Uh, yeah, it's a little piece of science, but it's very, very versatile. It's made, basically, specifically made for the hairpin legs, but I do all kinds of different stuff on it. So, next video is the bender, and thanks for watching this one. Uh, stick with me through the rest of the series. Subscribe, because I got some other stuff coming up too. So, thanks very much for watching.